What's going on everyone? It's the Print House and in this video I am telling you how you can use the Anchor Make app in order to change your e-steps on your brand new Anchor Make M5. Guys, this is currently only a beta option and this might change in the future. I have absolutely no idea what Anchor is going to be doing uh, with this functionality. Maybe it'll become uh, prominent and in the future this video might not be applicable to uh, this printer. But anyway guys, this is very easy. First. We're gonna click the settings for the actual printer. You're gonna click about device, and then you're going to go to the very bottom, look at version, and it, mine says V2.0, whatever. Click and hold that for three seconds. On your screen, something's gonna pop up at the bottom. Now, go ahead and click advanced parameters beta, and then when you get to that page, now you have access to everything uh, that's a little more advanced. Now, if you don't know what this means, guys, do not go change stuff because you could really seriously change how your printer functions and it's, you, you might start to fail uh, every single print. One of the bigger things that you might want to uh, look into though is gonna be motor pulse. Now, these are your E steps. This is your X, Y, Z steps for your motors. Most people don't ever calibrate their X, Y, or Z it is very important um, generally from the factory that's going to be good to go but your e steps or your extruder steps those are here mine uh, right now is one three one two and if i want to change that guys there surely is going to be a video posted to this channel very soon how to calibrate your e step for this machine stick around for that uh, but guys if my video is not posted you might be able to find one somewhere else over uh maybe on the unofficial discord channel or uh on the internet somewhere else but uh guys that is how you get to the advanced parameters for the anchor Mac m5 now just be very careful if you close the application this advanced parameters beta button on the bottom will disappear and you're gonna have to go through the whole process all over again so guys just make sure if you if you want this to stay uh that you get everything done while the app is open. Uh, and if you close it, you'll just have to redo everything all over again. But anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to show you on this particular video. It's a little bit of a hidden setting. They don't tell anyone about it. So guys, if this video was helpful, please drop a like and a subscribe. And if there's anything else that you want to see about this printer, please let me know. Otherwise, guys, I will see you in the next video.